Hi guys, and the objective of this video is to introduce the use of phasor notation. So when we talk about phases, we are talking about complex numbers that represent the amplitude and the phase of a sinusoid. We use them in our analysis of AC circuits due to the fact that they are easier to manipulate mathematically than the sine and cosine functions that we have been working with recently. So in order to understand our phases, we need to do a quick review of our complex numbers. Recall that complex numbers can be uh, expressed in three major forms, the first being the rectangular form, or the Cartesian form, where z, the complex number, is equal to x plus jy, with x being the real component and y being the imaginary component of the complex number. It can also be uh, expressed in polar form, so z is equal to r angle phi, or in exponential form, or z, which is z is equal to r e to the power of j phi where in terms of our basic identities, j is going to be a square root of negative one. Now you may have seen this square root of negative one sometimes referred to as i, however in electrical engineering it is always referred to as j due to the fact that i is current and so therefore there will be quite a bit of, of mix up between the two. We also know that r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared and our phi is equal to the inverse tan of y on x where our x is defined by r cos phi and y is given by r sine phi. So these two equations are a direct result of these two basic identities. So, in terms of operations with our complex numbers, we can, uh, for the addition and subtraction, it is actually preferable for the complex number to be expressed in rectangular form. So in this case where z1 is going to equal to x1 plus